The newly crowned MLS Cup champion Columbus crew will have their victory parade later today, capping an MLS Cup week that included the announcing of capsule collaboration between the league and streetwear brand Staple. This is pretty big. The collab features MLS Cup themed apparel as well as accessories including a cap and a scarf. And joining us to tell us more about the collaboration, we have a very special guest joining us, iconic streetwear designer Jeff Staple. Welcome in on Morning Footy Man. Thanks for coming on. Listen, in our pre-production meeting, you were branded by these guys as Sneaker God. I'll take it. I'll take it. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. It's, it's, it's awesome to have you. Tell us a little bit about this experience with, with the crew and with Major League Soccer. Oh, man, it's an, it's an absolute honor. You know, me growing up playing like Munchkin Soccer League ever since I was a kid, uh, to be able to build a brand on my own and then have that brand be recognized by like the MLS. And this, this MLS Cup collection actually came about because a couple of years back, we actually did a collaboration with NYCFC. That was the year that they took the championship cup, of course. And so going from NYCFC to then the entire league for the MLS Cup, it's just been an absolute honor. Jeff, uh, it is an absolute honor to talk to you. I'm a, I'm a sneakerhead, and, you know, I owe a lot to you. Uh, I grew up coming in, you know, from Boston, so Bodega and Concepts, uh, those two yes. s stores are, are revolutionary in, in the industry. What's next for you? Because you can't start and dabble in, in, in MLS and soccer and not go more because people are going to be craving this. We want more of this. Yeah, I mean, you know, we just crossed our 25th anniversary. So you talk about those early days. I mean, shout out Dion and Jay from Concepts and Bodega. We came up in the same era. And just to see how far street culture has gone, you know, uh, we're, we're entering the ranks of like luxury fashion and, and major brands and major sporting leagues. Uh, I don't know where it's going to go. I mean, I think the secret to, to what I've been doing is just maintaining authenticity and just doing what I love and wherever that leads me, I'm going to go there, you know? So I'm just taking, taking it by the wind, man, wherever the wind blows me, I'm going. All I'm going to say is, Hey, there's a, a, a big, big event coming here in 2026. So <laughs> be ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's almost as if the world plays I'll for the sketchbook now. <laughs> uh, Jeff, dude, I mean, this is again, also an honor. I mean, I remember thinking and maybe I should go pick up these dunks everyone's talking about. And then I hear the cops shut down the line. This is almost going back 20 years ago. So you really created everything we're talking about now. But as I look back at your career, I'm thinking about the PMB days, post no bacon, post no bills. I mean, please wow. no bacon, post no bills. I mean, you are, I remember you were at a time bridge the gap between skater culture uh hip-hop culture underground kid culture and and sort of clothes that were readily available for everyone and now you're doing that with soccer a culture that's important to me and you're bridging a lot of those you're the venn diagram the middle of the venn diagram of a lot of important cultures that it's important to me where how far do you think you could take this like will there be an mls cup menswear line you're talking about that heightened luxury you know yeah. Yo, can you write my eulogy for me? That was amazing. <laughs> but no, for real, like it's, it's, it's limitless where it could go. I mean, it, there's, there's literally no limit, but at the same time, I think because of where I came from in the streets and just being like anti-establishment and subculture, there's also no expectation. I'm not waiting for someone's handout. Like we're just going to go and get it and do what we think is cool and right. And I think that's really the, the spirit and energy of street culture, you know? Jeff, if you couldn't tell, by the way, from, from the question that Alexis gave, I've never seen this guy more excited to have a guest on. We've had coaches, we get yeah. players. He's so excited to have you on. He just went, he just went deep cut. Uh, I think most of the people watching don't even know what he was talking about. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, but you went very deep, my man. Bro, my mother threw away my Please No Bacon shirt, and I was like, no! <laughs> no way. <laughs> I was crying. I kept it in a plastic case. If you got another one, you got you to hook him up with one. <laughs> Upside down pig on it. Oh, my God. PMB was, was an era. I do have a, I do have no. an ask. Look, Charlie and I are massive fans of yours. Okay, Jeff? And I think it'd be really cool. We started this, uh, we'd be our first part of this network, the Golasso Network and Morning Footy. And I just realized, man, we don't have any merch. No merch. Now, if only and we I mean, were talking. Talk. Hey, if you know, we were Jeff. talking to someone who was, I don't know, probably <laughs> one of the most influential people in that world. 
I know a thing or two about merch. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk. <laughs> hey, hey, 100%. You know we be rocking it every morning. Yeah, I know you from Boston. I'm born yeah. and raised in Newark. Been living in New York for 20 years. We got a, uh, Marco here who's uh, born and raised in Brooklyn. So the pigeon is essential to us as well, you know? Okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's talk. All right, All right baby. Say no more. <laughs> yeah, the city has got to be involved in this, too, yeah. right? So, so Jeff, so do, you, get something. do you have a team? Do you, do you support, like, a team? Like, how, how much are I you mean, into the world of football? I mean, I, I got to give it up to NYCFC. How could I not? You know oh, what I mean? Like, my gosh. Their, their, their unofficial logo is a pigeon. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, and, uh, you know, I, I got to give it up to my, my home squad. But uh, no, shout out to, you know, uh, Columbus and L.A. as well for, for just doing an amazing match this weekend. It was, it was dope to watch. Jeff, I know you said that you played growing up. You used to play, but how did you get into soccer? What, what was the, what, was it somebody from your family? Did you just start watching? What was it? No, nah, just, you know, basically my parents just trying to keep me busy. So it's just like that, that little league munchkin league. Um, I was actually goaltender. Um, and so that actually in, in, like sort of inspired me to, I just love goalies in general. So I ended up playing like hockey goaltender as well. Um, just that camaraderie of sports is something that I was always inspired by. Uh, Jeff, I know you've probably looked at a bunch of them, but football kits, soccer jerseys, whatever you want to call them, they've, some of them have become iconic. Do you have one that you look at and you're like, oh, I could do something with Good this? Question. Oh, man. So many to choose from. Uh, like all, all over the world or an MLS? Anything. Anything, Anything yeah. All over the world, MLS. I mean, I'm an NYCFC season ticket holder, so you could say that. I mean, it's a sin that NY, NYCFC haven't had you design their kit for them, but okay. We but can... he did a collab, and no, I got did all a, those we, pieces. We did a collab. Yeah, we yeah, did a collab. We're yeah. talking about a kit, bro. I actually on, wore, on, yeah, I wore the gray pitch. hoodie two days ago on the show. Oh, nice. Thank yeah. you. I don't know, man. Damn, what do you – can you give me suggestions? Venetia, Who's the maybe? one that I should be – Everybody loved Venezia yeah. back then. I would say, like, if I would okay. go back, like, maybe, like, a early 2000s, like, PSG kit. Mm. I, I would go yeah, early they got, 2000s. They, they have all the sneaker ties. Yes. Early 2000s, Arsenal with the Sega Ooh, sponsor. Or the O2, the yeah. burgundy oh, joint. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do that into a menswear line, the mm. long sleeve burgundy joint. Oh, yeah. That'd be amazing. I can picture stuff. myself wearing a Good long coat and loafers. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do it. I gotta do it. You guys are long lost brothers. I bet, honestly. <laughs> Jeff, listen, there there was a top European manager complimenting Alexis, and we didn't hear the end of that compliment. <laughs> and now I think we have surpassed that moment. The fact yeah. that, that Jeff Staple is, is out here just just talking I'm, it up with people Alexis. don't understand. This is an icon. Yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, this is a sneaker god. In terms of one <laughs> sneaker, right? He 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 made a, a dunk. So fashionable that it costs more than homes. It costs more than cars. It's hundred thousand no dollars right now for a pair of sneakers. Wow. How many did you keep for yeah. yourself, by the way? Yo, shh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, before any secrets get out of the bag, Jeff, I thank you for your time and uh, looking forward to that Golasso Network morning footy collab.